Hi there and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to modify this flashlight. And the reason why I call it a flashlight and not a torch or something is because it actually flashes. It flashes like this. That's about, I don't know, 3 Hz. Then it can flash SOS. Uh, and it can reduce brightness, even more reduced brightness. But most of the time you only need full brightness. And that's what a flashlight is for normally. Except you go hiking and you get lost in the mountains in, in the night and that's something I don't do. So I find it pretty annoying to have this function and in fact all of these small uh, flashlights do have the same chip inside that can blink, morse code, etc. And I will show you today um, how to get rid of that function. I already uh, modified three of these lamps uh, because I bought four and that's the last one here and I thought I'd make a little video about it. The first step is of course to remove the battery. It goes in with the positive forward. Okay, need to remember that there is a plastic tube. And inside there is a spring contact. So the next step will be to remove the lens. And uh, some of this flashlight are screwed and some are just have a plastic ring and the lens falls out. So then we have the LED chip here and we also have something that looks like copper. So I think the better um, torches or flashlights they actually have a copper ring here but most of them it's an aluminium ring with a copper uh, that looks like copper. Then we need to remove that copper part here, which is almost not screwed in, so it's absolutely not tightened. Interesting. Yeah, as I said, it is not copper, it looks like, but it's only aluminum. Okay, now we should be able to get this electronic part out here. I can already remove the LED part here, which goes down with two wires to that circuit board there. I could already um, change the components of that board he from here, but that's a little bit like surgery, so I prefer to unscrew that part here. So the we would get a better access, so we can screw that off. Okay, that's just a hollow tube. Yeah, now we get that part apart. And now there is the electronics board. Can we get that out? Yes. Okay, so that's all we need. Okay, I just re-engineered or reverse engineered that schematic. It's very, very complicated. 
So what we got is a little circuit and it, when I say little it's very very little. So we have the battery, we have that switch that is in the end cap here. Then from the battery we go directly to the white LED. Then we have four 1 ohm resistors in parallel, gives us 0 0.25 ohms. Then we go to that tiny little IC that looks like a transistor and back to negative. Um, there is also a capacitor. I guess that's the power supply for the IC when you press this uh, switch here only for a short moment because that's the way how you change the, the flickering or flashing mode. You turn it on then you interrupt, it, interrupt the circuit here for a very short, maybe tenth of a second. And that's enough for this IC to recognize this power drop. And to prevent that the whole thing resets to zero, there is this capacitor that stores the voltage from the battery for a fraction of a second or maybe a second. And that's the whole circuit. So to prevent this um, flashlight from flashing, we simply take out this IC and make a bridge connection to the minus pin and then it turns on when the switch is on and it turns off when the switch is off and everything else is gone. And here you can see this circuit in all its glory. So that's this little thing here. That's our, well I'm tempted to say it's a microcontroller, but well maybe it's just a flasher circuit. Would be interesting to see the chip inside here. Must have, well, a couple of transistors of course. So we I want to take out this one and then I make a bridge from here to here. Is that right? No, that's a short circuit from here to here. Yes. Then we have the four resistors here. So in fact they already provided here a solder spot and another one here. So I can, could use that for... Well, I will make a bridge right here. I just decided to also remove the capacitor because it has no more function and it's between the plus and the minus of the battery so if that capacitor shortens out somehow for some reason my flashlight wouldn't work anymore.
Okay, so all the components that are not needed anymore are gone. Let's reassemble the whole thing and let's see if it still works. Okay, it seems to work, or still work. Um, let me see, how is that going? Okay, okay that works. Yeah, look, it still blinks, but only if I push the button. And that's exactly how I want it. Okay, thanks for watching. Well, I couldn't resist to play with that little IC controller transistor thing, and I recreated the circuit right here. And I have this button and as long as I press it the power is on, so that's it. Short, it gets a little bit darker, it gets even darker, it starts flashing, it flashes SOS, and the loop is closed, we are on again. Okay. And when I press it, it starts with the maximum brightness, goes to lower brightness. Okay, I think that's it. Thanks for watching.